Hey guys, it's Tyler. Welcome to Let's Learn C++ Lesson 1. This one's called Getting Started. And it's called Getting Started because we're going to get started. So, let's get started. So, what we're going to do in this lesson is I'm just going to tell you a little bit about programming in general. And then we're going to get you guys set up with an, with an integrated development environment. An integrated development environment, a lot more commonly known as an IDE. It sounds like some kind of homemade bomb or something, but an IDE... Uh, is basically just a program that is designed to make programming simpler. Now notice I didn't say easier, it makes it simpler. Because it takes all the little one-step processes that you have to do through the command prompt with like all the make commands and uh, compile commands and all the commands that you have to put into the command prompt, it takes all those and smacks them together into one program so you can just hit one button and it does it all for you. And a lot of times these, uh, these these IDEs come with debuggers, and debuggers make the debugging process like so much nicer than it normally is. Because without the debugger, you have to go in and you have to uh, using like C out statements or something. Sorry, you don't know what that is, but uh, using output statements, you have to find where the error is and narrow it down to figure out what line it's on and figure out why that line is going re and fix what's going on. Sometimes it'll jump you from file to file to file. Sometimes it'll jump you around the code. It's it's a pain in the butt. But with debuggers, it, it runs your program and it monitors every little thing that goes on inside the program. And whenever something goes wrong, it tells you what goes wrong and it tells you where it goes wrong. And it tells you all the values of all the variables at that point. So, that sounds really complicated, but really, it's really easy to use, and it is the, the most beautiful thing you will ever see when you're programming. <laughs> You'll understand what I'm talking about once you start running into big problems and everything. So, anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and find the website for our uh, IDE, so let's delve into Google's endless abyss of knowledge. Uh, we're going to get MS Visual C++ 2010 Express. So right here, you'll see free developer tools, and one of the links in here is Visual C++ 2010 Express. Click that link. This is the one we want. And there will be an Install Now English. You click on that, and there's Install the Trial English or Install Visual Studio 2010 Express C++. Do not click the big purple button. Go below it to the OR and click the small blue text. And whenever you click that, it'll start up a download. And as you can see, I already have it downloaded, which I'm actually going to delete that real quick because I don't need it anymore. So um, it'll start your download, and once it's completed, run the installer. And, it, and the installer is straightforward. It's not, it's not one where you have to do anything. Just keep everything the same, except the license agreement next, and then... Uh, keep it in the same install path, click next. There's no special thing you have to choose what to install, how to install it, and all that stuff. It's just straightforward. So, there shouldn't be any problems. Run through the installer and link back up with me when you're done. Just go ahead and pause the video. Okay, so, now that you have Visual Studio 2010 installed, we need to talk about the features in it. So, go ahead and open up your Visual Studio Let me find mine. There it is. Visual C++ 2010 Express. So, got a cool flash screen here. Okay, now that we have our IDE opened up and raring to go, we have our start page. Um, okay, there we go. <laughs> we have our start page here. You can start a new project, open an earlier project, or it's got all these welcome things and tutorials and stuff. But uh, I, I encourage you to go through all the all the uh, help documentation and samples and everything. I, I encourage you. In fact, it would behoove you to 
go through it all. And if you don't understand anything, just go back to my tutorials. But some of this stuff I haven't done yet, but I'll be doing in the future. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and create our first project. We're going to go to File, New, Project. Now, see all these nice choices? All these nice, uh, somewhat strange choices to you? Class library, CLR console, uh, CLR empty, empty, make file, Win32, Win32, Windows form. We want an empty project. So, let's type a name. This is going to be, um, we'll, we'll call it Hello World. And I'm going to save this. The folder that I made for you guys. No, that is not the right folder. Simple plus tutorials, getting started, select folder. And there we go. Now, Microsoft did this really strange thing that I've never seen before in, um, in an IDE before. What it is, is they create solutions. Now, if you'll see over here in the Solution Explorer, it says Solution, Hello World, one project. And then you have your project down below it called Hello World. Now, in other IDEs that I've been in, it doesn't have a solution. It just says um, uh, project. It, it just has a project. Now, I'm not really sure why Microsoft decided to do it like this, but solutions are actually pretty cool. It allows you to put multiple projects inside one uh, grouping, so you can open them all together. Or I don't really know the, the actual uh, reason why they did this, that's the biggest use I can find for it. Otherwise, it's just annoying. So, um, <laughs> but we got to deal with it because this is a standard IDE and it's very easy to use. There's no uh, loops to go through and everything. So, what we need to do is, as you can see, all these folders over here on the left have nothing inside of them and there's nothing on our screen here. So, we need a source file. A source file holds our code. So, we're going to right click on the source files and click add new item. Now there's a bunch of different choices, Windows form, C++ file, header file, property sheet, component class, obviously we want the C++ file. Now we're going to call this, uh, you can't do the double click thing, it's stupid. We're going to call this main.cpp and we're going to click add and it puts it, in, it puts it in the little folder here and it automatically opens it up and it's just a blank text editor as you can see. So. We're gonna make our first simple program called Hello World. What we need is we need number sign include, pound include less than, greater than, and inside we need IO stream. Pound include IO stream. Go down two lines and type in using, well, that was a fail. U oh, using namespace std semicolon. And before you make a joke, std stands for standard. So many people are like, oh, you said STD, but it's standard. It's the standard namespace, and I'll explain to you what that means later on. So now int means integer main, and I'll explain this later. In fact, I'm going to explain all this in the next lesson. So for now, just type all this in. C out less than less than quotations. Hello world exclamation point quotations less than less than and L semicolon. I go down one more line and type in return zero semicolon and then close your brackets. Just pause the video if you need to copy and paste this or something or not copy and paste uh, just copy it down because uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run it. So to run it you click this little green button up here it says start debugging or you can simply hit F5 and it says would you like to build it? Well, I just said build, so why not? Let's build it. And here's our output over here, except this is the output for the building of the project. And this box down here just tells us what the compiler is doing. Alright, so I don't know if you saw it, but there was a black box that appeared and then went away. That is because there was nothing to uh, nothing to stop it from closing. 
basically the program went C out hello world and returned zero and just closed automatically. So we need to add a line in between to uh, to actually stop the program for a little bit. So we're gonna say cn dot ignore and I'll explain to you what this does later. But for now hit F5 again, build it again. And it stays where it's at, and it displays hello world. And to make it go on, hit enter, and it'll close. So that's your most basic C++ application you can develop. It's called the hello world program. Everybody does it in every language. So um, this was yours. This was your introduction to C++. And in the next, oh my gosh. And in the next lesson, we will be talking about everything that happens in this small program. We're going to go line by line and explain what it all is doing. So, thank you for watching Lesson on C++. I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you for watching.